Hello my beautiful MK Love Fam and welcome back to another episode. Today is another weekly angel guidelines which is going to be from May the 7th to the 13th. Oh my gosh, this is an incredible, incredible week. We are actually starting the month out in, da, 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 in the disseminating moon which is asking us to receive expected and unexpected abundance which is amazing. Then on Tuesday we're going to be moving into the last quarter of the moon. This is asking us to breathe with ease and give back from a place of love. This is so beautiful. Then my favorite time of the moon cycle which is the balsamic moon which is asking us to reflect with gratitude and to take time to rest. This is, I love the balsamic moon because Last first time at Moom, I took four days of social media um, and it was uh, amazing. Oh my gosh, it just felt like a mini holiday and maybe that's something I'm going to do again. It was just such a beautiful time. So maybe that's something that you would like to do. Anyways, so this is just a general reading. So just take from this what feels truly best for you. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Melanie Kate Love. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday, helping you to learn to love yourself, trust your intuition, and to manifest your heart's true desires. So if you haven't already subscribed, please join the beautiful MK Love fan. Hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified every single time I upload a video. So let's get cracking. I'm gonna be using the Angel Tarot from Doreen Virtue. And I also have my Shadowscapes Tarot here. So we'll just maybe pull a mixture and just see what comes up. All right. Angels, what do my beautiful MK Love fam need to know from, what was the date? May the 7th, whoa, to the 13th. Okay, the first card that just jumped out right then is the Eight of Earth. Oh my goodness. This totally fits in with the disseminating moon because this is like all your hard work that you have been doing is now going to be rewarded. Oh my God, skilled work is rewarded. Learning all there is to know about a topic going back to school. So you could be rewarded by, you know, if you found that you needed help with something that you're struggling with, you have now find, found the right person to help accelerate your progress in whatever you were going to be learning. I feel that this could be, I don't know, I feel like a lot of you have been putting in so much groundwork for such a long time and now the universe has like aligned everything perfectly for you and maybe you're going to get this new promotion, maybe you're going to get this new job opportunity. I feel like, I feel like this is such a beautiful time. So you're learning something. I feel like you guys are definitely, you know, we've been speaking for probably like the last month and a half about this new chapter. And this new chapter is going to be allowing you to grow and evolve in ways that you've never done before, which means you're going to be in unknown territory. Maybe a lot of you have stepped out of your comfort zone. I know I totally have. And it's like, okay, you're going to be learning all there is to know about this new chapter because this is something that you haven't done before. Ooh, that's interesting. All right, the eighth of earth. Earth is the abundance. This is awesome. All right, well, I don't like how these cards have been shuffling. This is the second time I've like tried to film this because I didn't like the energy at the start, but I'm getting the same energy again. Okay, thank you very much. Ooh, now we've got the three of earth power of creativity, recognition, recognition for very high quality work, be a team player. What do you see? Well, a butterfly represents massive change, transformation, stepping into your power, blossoming. Oh, then I heard that song. Um, May you bloom and grow, but da 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 forever. Edelweiss, Edelweiss, bless my homeland forever. Edelweiss, that's from The Sound of Music, totally random. Okay, 
So you're learning all there is to know about a new topic. It's all about creativity, but you're going to be recognized for the work that you are doing, all the work that you have done, because this is skilled work is rewarded. So maybe this new chapter is like, you're finally recognized for where you are. So you're moving up, you're evolving. You are becoming this beautiful butterfly. Hmm. I just get really good vibes. I'm so interested to hear what you guys have to think in the comments. Oh my God. We have clarity on eight of earth and three of earth angels. Okay. Six of water. Ooh. So I feel like in this new chapter, you're going to be romanticizing the past and thinking about where you have come but I don't feel that this is necessarily like a bad thing I feel like you're saying like I am where I am and it's okay and you're like so grateful for exactly where you are and you're thinking about everything that has led you to this moment in time ah then I heard that song on a moment like this some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this Oh, I can't believe it's happening to me. Some people wait a life. Oh shit, that's wrong. Some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this. Could this be the greatest love of all? I wanna know that you will catch me when I fall. So let me tell you this. Whoa. I just feel this is beautiful. The water card is all about your emotions and there's lots of cups that are down um, in the water, but she's like smiling and she's like, thank you, thank you, thank you universe. I am so grateful for everything that has led to this moment, this moment in time, this new chapter, this new butterfly that I am becoming. And you keep saying, I am where I am and it's okay. I'm blessed. I am beyond blessed. I have a roof over my head. I have this new filming background. It took me two hours to work out how to do it, but I am so blessed and I'm exactly where I need to be. You know, like this is a beautiful, beautiful card. It does say romanticizing. I, I think that did I sing that song before? Don't look back in anger, I heard you say. Like, I don't feel like you are looking back in anger. I think you're like, thank God this happened the way it did because it taught me what I needed to know to bloom, to grow and become this butterfly. And I'm not mad. And you know, you can't get it wrong. Everything that you go through, you can't mess it up. Even if you feel like you're hit rock bottom, you are exactly where you need to be. You didn't mess it up because you were already perfect deep within your soul. Like you were born pure positive energy. You know, maybe along the way you forgot who you are, but now you're starting to remember this pure, delicious soul that you are. And you are now surrounding yourself with high vibrational people that actually make you feel good. And you feel in your power and you feel that you're just like, you know, you're navigating unfamiliar territory, but that's okay because you don't grow where you're comfortable. And this is a really beautiful time. Oh my gosh. Eight of fire. Okay, what color do you see with all of these wands here? Because the color that you see is the color which corresponds with that chakra. If you want more information about that, I have a whole chakra meditation. It says, events moving at a fast pace, delays are over, many things are happening at once. Well, that is totally true, isn't it? There is so much going on. It's like you finally got your ducks in a row, like things are working out. You released everything that hasn't served you. You're now blooming into this beautiful butterfly. You're thinking about, about how far you have come and you're so proud of everything that you have been through. You know, there may be something when you like thinking about the past, you're like, oh, I wish I didn't do that. But it was a lesson and you've now grown and you've now evolved. But now that you have worked out exactly the direction that you're going to, and you've released that resistance, the universe is like moving things like pretty flipping quick, which is amazing because that is totally what has happened for Peter in the last two days. It's incredible. 
Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be such a good week. Yes. Okay, and just what do we need to know? We've got eight of earth, three of earth, six of water, and eight of fire. Do we need to know? I just keep hearing that um, Kelly Clarkson song. Can't believe it's happening to me. Okay, that card, thank you very much. Ooh, we got the Hermit card. Hermit card is to seek solitude and to reconnect back with your higher self. That would totally fit in perfectly with the balsamic moon. So that's probably from Sunday onwards. So I feel like Monday, which is, we still have got the energies of the disseminated moon, which is receiving abundance, which could probably be where the recognition may be coming in for you. And I feel like come Tuesday, it's like you're breathing with ease and you're giving back from a place of love. Then come Saturday, it's like, okay, we're going to just reflect and say, okay, what have I manifested during this moon phase? What has happened? What am I grateful for? And like literally taking time to reconnect back with your soul because th when, you, when you start new chapters, it's quite overwhelming and you're like, okay, Maybe I've got to double up the self-love practices. Maybe I need to, you know, retreat more and reconnect back with my soul because when you start something new, it's like, oh, I'm still learning this, this new chapter. I really like this reading. Wow. Oh my God. Then we got the dreamer card, which is the first major arcana of the tarot, which is you, which is totally where you are. It's like you are in... A new territory, which is a leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. So I feel like these unexpected opportunities are going to be to do with your creativity, however that looks like for you. This could be exercise, this could be career-wise. Career, career, career there's lots of butterflies, there's a dog. Like, this is a beautiful, beautiful new chapter. I'm so excited. All right, let's pull another card from the Shadowscapes Tarot. So two major arcanas. So new chapter, retreat. Oh my goodness. Follow your dreams, all right. Dreams really do come true. Someday I wish upon a star. And wake up where the clouds will fly behind me. Oh, there it is. Thank you very much. Ooh, we got the Page of Swords. Have a look at this image right here. What do you see when you see this image? Hmm. The Page of Swords. She's like blissed out she's like protected she's she has black swans white swans she's got a little bubble one that she's nursing so that could be like oh page of swords is that what i said i feel like this is so beautiful i feel like she's kind of like mastered any of the like negative thoughts that she's been having and she's like you know i am where i am and it's okay I am amazing, like I am amazing. Like I feel like she's starting to believe who she truly is. She's got a sword in her hand as to say like, if anything's going to come up, like I can protect myself, you know, I can be assertive when I need to, but I can also like use the sword if I get into that situation, but she's not really in like the attack situation. Look at this. It's just really, really beautiful. I just think she's got beautiful, beautiful energy. All right, let's get one more card and then we'll call it a day. All right, what else do we need to know? Oh, there it's trying to come out. Holy heck, we got the tower. 
So this is like a major life event. You're like, to me, I see the tower as like rebuilding. It's like things that haven't served you. It's like you're building your you're building your own tower on solid foundations, solid grounding. Some of you may be like moving to a new place. Um, okay, let's go back in the context of the reading. So you are going to be rewarded for this new work that you have been working towards. I can't see my cards. I don't have my usual setup, so I feel like uncomfortable a little bit. And I'm like sitting on this chair, but it's so flipping hot. I'm like having to sit on a towel so I don't sweat into the chair. All right, let's just see what else we've got. Power of creativity. So I think you're definitely going to be recognized for all the work that you have been doing. You could be recognized for like the internal work and find the partner of your dreams that like, oh, that would be amazing. There's so many things that could come up. I feel like you're looking back at your, where you have come and you're saying, I am where I am and it's okay. I'm so proud of everything that I have achieved. And things are gonna be moving quite quickly. We're gonna be meditating, setting a new journey, which we already know. We're just at peace. And we're rebuilding, we're, we're, we are rebuilding our own tower. This new tower is this new person, this new foundation, because this could be like, the tower could be like changing up your bedroom so it sparks joy. This could be, you know, tower. It's like, I think of tower as in like the foundation, like your home, your sanctuary. Um, I don't know, this could literally be like repainting the walls, redecorating. There's so many things involved with this one. The tower could also be like the new foundation to where you're working. Let's get more. I like reading for you guys. Okay, maybe just one more. What's the final card? Oh, we got two cards. <laughs> the seven of cups. It's like which way? It's like the different, I see this card as like perspective. One's looking up, one's looking to the side. Is it to the side? Yeah, one's looking at and a map. It's like, it's like there's different ways to get to where you want to. You just have to find what feels truly best for you. Like either you could be a visual learner or you could be more like um, having to write it down. I feel like this is all about perspectives. Cups is also about abundance. So abundance can come in maybe two different forms. Maybe you have two different streams of income now instead of just one. And then the other card that came up, oh gosh, is the Eight of Swords. You need to pay attention to exactly where you are. Can you see the swan is like entangled with all of this like thorns it's just not pretty but then there's that little birdie like here and he's like just calm down if you flutter your wings too much you're going to really injure yourself but if you listen to my guidance I will help move each thorn away it's like I feel like this little bird is kind of like the remover of obstacles and it's like you know when you start a new chapter, you know, it's inevitable that you're going to make some mistakes because you're still learning and you're growing and you're evolving. But I feel like this little birdie is like, I can help you get there. Just chill. Anyways, my love, I hope you have enjoyed today's weekly angel guidance. Please comment below and let me know what came up for you because I would absolutely love to hear from you. And remember, have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will talk to you on Wednesday. We're going to be going to episode two as a part of our Law of Attraction series. Anyways, my love, I love you. I love you. Goodbye.